Our precious followers, hello to you. NATO's move in Germany intimidation or routine exercise. The scenario that nobody thought possible came true, despite the fact that 16 months have passed since the Russia-Ukraine war, both sides still have not achieved any results. At the point reached today, it is possible to talk about a reality where the balances have changed almost compared to the first days of the war and asymmetric threats are increasingly appearing. From highly sophisticated weapon systems to very critical instant intelligence sharing, from training for asymmetric warfare to direct financial aid, the Western wing has used almost every trump card to somehow put Russia in a dead end. The last card on the table was to fly dozens of warplanes in the middle of Europe. Prof. Oguzlov thinks that the Air Defender 2023 exercise, in which 250 aircraft from 25 countries participated, carries a strategic and geopolitical message, even if the routine claim of the Western Front is accepted. This exercise also shows that the threat from Russia is taken seriously by the Europeans, says Oguzlu. Another important aspect of the work is the emphasis that NATO can raise a hand in the military support given to Ukraine, if necessary. At this point, Oguzlu reminds us of the F-16 warplanes that are likely to be given to Ukraine that he opens a separate parenthesis on the hosting of Germany. Dr. Oguz. As it will be remembered, at the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war, Germany was criticized for being too passive and drew reaction on the grounds that it provided very limited aid. The Berlin administration, which was under serious pressure, especially the USA and England, increased the dosage of aid over time. It is possible to liken the possible reflections of the exercise to nested matryoshkas. This is a move that can initiate separate processes for the US-EU countries, separate processes for EU countries' own dynamics, and separate processes for US-Russia and EU-Russia relations. Of course, there is also the Ankara dimension of the business. Tarek Oguzla first comments on the US-EU relations and says, until recently, there were serious differences between the two great powers on fundamental issues. The Ukraine-Russia war opened a different window in this respect. At this point, the common enemy has once again brought the USA and EU countries closer. Now they are bandaging their wounds.